In this video, we will prove the Starling approximation. So, let's start. First of all, consider the factorial on n, that is n factorial, that is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4, so on. And the last two terms are n minus 1 and n. Now, if we apply logarithm on both sides, then it becomes logarithm of n factorial, that's equal to applying logarithm on right hand side these terms become logarithm of 1 plus logarithm of 2 plus logarithm of 3 so on and the last two terms are logarithm of n minus 1 plus logarithm of n now we can take this series as a sum of like summation of x equal to 1 to n logarithm of x ok thus we get log n factorial that's equal to x equal to 1 to n log x and we take this as equation number 1 now consider another term that is n log n so n log n that means sum of log n for n times so we can write this term as that's equal to log n plus log n so on last term is also log n and there are totals n numbers of log n ok so we can also write this as a sum like summation over x equal to 1 to n logarithm of n ok now we take this as equation number 2 Thus we get n log n that is sum over log n. Okay. Now we subtract the equation number 1 to 2. So okay. That is 1 minus 2. By this we get log of n factorial minus n log n. That's equal to this term minus that is x equal to 1 to n logarithm of x minus this term ok now we take the summation common so it becomes that's equal to summation is taken common so x equal to 1 to n into log x minus log n Now we replace this summation, this summation with integration. So it becomes that's equal to integral of with the limit x equal to 1 to n log x minus log n into dx. Thus we replace the summation with integration. So it becomes log n factorial minus n log n that is equal to that. Okay. Now I have to integrate this. So that is x equal to 1 to n <coughs> log x dx minus integral x equal to 1 to n log n dx ok so the integral of log x dx is given by x log x minus x with the limit 1 to n and that is a constant so came out of the integral and the integral of dx that is x with the limit 1 to n so now putting the limits that is n and 1 we get n log n minus n minus of putting 1 this becomes 1 log 1 minus 1 ok minus log n put the limit of x that is n minus 1 ok so that's equal to n log n minus n and log on 1 has the value 0 so we neglect this and the remaining term plus 1 ok 
and this term that is minus in log in plus log in okay now this term this term cancelled out so this becomes log in this term minus in plus 1 okay now that is the first approximation that is in very very large so we take in very very greater than 1 so we can neglect this one with respect to this in so we can write this log in minus in neglect equal 1 okay thus we get that log n factorial minus n log n this terms equal to log n minus n so log n factorial minus n log n that's equal to that okay now from this this term that is log n factorial equals to taking this term to the right side we get n log n plus log n minus n now since n is very very greater than 1 so we can say that n log n this term is, is also very very greater than log n so we can neglect the log n terms with n log n so neglect this term with respect to this term so that becomes n log n minus n thus we get that log n factorial this term is equal to n log n minus n and this is called the starling approximation